The true happiness of a person is when he finds himself. When he is able to be who he really is. To use the talents that he has, that he's been blessed with. That he can express his real true feelings, his emotions. Then he is blooming. Then he is happy. But when he cannot be who he is, he falls to depression. I cannot do anything in life. He feels like a disaster. I'm worthless. I'm hopeless. I don't have a chance. Not because really he doesn't have a chance. Just because that he wants to have a chance on certain things that his surroundings, that people around him are not respecting. Those are not options. Oh, you want to be a musician? You're not going to make money from your music. You want to make videos? Yeah, no one makes money from videos. Oh, you think that you're going to do this? You think you're going to do that? You want to make Aliyah? You want to serve the... I don't know, whatever you want. You want to learn Torah? That's the worst. Like, what are you, crazy? You want to learn Torah? They're not accepting you, and by that you're losing your happiness. Why? Because your happiness really depends in... The fact that you will come back to be who you are. That you will be able to be who you are. Now, what the snake, the evil inclination, the Yetzirah, did to us all, he made the impossible, the only impossible things, what thing that cannot be done ever, to be the goal of our life. He made you always want to be like other people. And that's the only thing that you cannot achieve in this lifetime. If you will want to fly airplanes, you can do that. If you want to buy something, if you're going to work on those things that you dream of, you will achieve it. There is nothing in the world that can stop you from fulfilling your dreams. But to become someone else, it's impossible. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve by being who you are, by following your inner will and, and being stubborn about it and not giving up on your hopes and praying for it and working for it. You can achieve everything you want. But to become someone else, you cannot because you are stuck with who you are. And that's why he did it. In front of our eyes, you see thousands and millions of people, millions of faces that are all not you. All of them are just not you. And that's why the main war, the main fight, the main struggle that we need to fight in life is to work on our self-esteem. To understand that we are who we are and to find out who we are and to uplift and to bring out to the light the treasures that are hidden inside of us. And that's the purpose and that's the goal. Because the one that made you who you are belong to that family, coming with your accent, coming with your wisdom, with your power of memory, with your money, with your abilities, is the Creator. The one that created you and gave you life. And He gave you life with a purpose. That you will find that purpose and you're going to find, fight for the truth of being who you are and achieving and completing 